father was a great man. A hero, so they say. Sometimes the world doesn't need another hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. Dracula Untold is the origin story of how Vlad, Prince of uh, Wallachia, um, became the fictional character of Bram Stoker's novel. So it's a trajectory from history, you know, all the way into fiction. The Sultan is preparing for battle. It requires 1,000 boys for his army, including your son. Mehmet II, who I'm playing, also also does does the same, which is to steal essentially young children from their families and turn them into um, ultimate killing machines and warriors and whitewashing their brains so that all they know is is violence and um, will will fight to the death. Angerus is Vlad's son. Uh, he's he's a child, and that's all he really wants to be. And he wants to do these fun things with his dad, like horse riding and all this. Run to your mother. Look away! You can't protect us. I'll find a way. It's a story of torment and sacrifice and love and heartbreak and um, an extreme huma humanity. There's a lot of humanity in this story which um, you wouldn't expect from a story about Dracula and that's why it's different. Welcome to your life. What is it you are seeking? I want the power to destroy my enemies and save my family. There's no turning back. Drink Dracula. Welcome to your life. The master vampire is part of a kind of great scheme of things. And he's the games master, basically. I'm about a thousand years old and I've lived in this dark, horrible cave for a very long time, waiting for a man of Vlad the Impaler's strength and will to come along and be worthy of the darkness and all its gifts that I have to offer. Drink. You will have a taste of my power. Vlad seeks vengeance, but he needs the tools to wreak that vengeance. And the only place he can get them is me. Drink. I think so much of Morena's story in the film is, is centered around the love story between her and Vlad and then also just the story of love and family that for me the whole film is about protecting. I spent a lot of time in rehearsals with Luke trying to define a real love story and a real relationship. It's something that matters very much so in this film because it's part of the main reason why Vlad chooses to do what he does in the film is because of this undying love he has for his wife. Today we start the Vlad versus a thousand fight, so there's a lot of work today. A lot of... This is by far the biggest fight sequence I've ever learned. It's huge, it's massive, um, but it looks fantastic. This is when Vlad charges the Turkish army and hits the first front line, which will be the first section of eight.
who I am.